Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our Savior, our God, our Creator. God is so faithful. It's midnight and God do extraordinary things at midnight. I just felt in my spirit that somebody needed to know that the Lord still loves them, that he still cares, and that his promises are still yea and amen, that he has not changed his mind about you. Someone might be up tonight and you might feel that you are overcome. You might feel like you are in a place of where <laughs> you're never ending. I want to say to you tonight that God is doing great things and we need not be discouraged the same God of Abraham Jacob and Isaac is the same God that will watch over us so tonight I want to encourage you and to let you know that his plans for you are plans of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end hallelujah glory to God his plans are to give you an expected end Oh, we give God praise and we give God glory and we give him all the honor. What a mighty God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. This morning, I just want to encourage you today. I know sometimes we start this race and we start it swiftly and there. Sometimes we, uh, it seems like we are, are just you know, going, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, <laughs> it seems like our oil goes out. Remember the five wise and the five foolish. It seems like sometimes we are running, but we're out of bread and the prayer life <clears throat> and everything that we have had before, it seems to diminish. We've gotten busy. We've gotten where we are just sometimes too tired to pray or to keep our relationship burning. Remember when we first came to Christ and how awesome it was and how um, how we, we man, we were so excited to get into the presence of the Lord. It wasn't, it, I mean, nothing kept us from his presence and it was just powerful to know that we were um, able to just be in his presence. Well, tonight, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you because I know what it feels like to be where you feeling like you are in a slumber. I know what it feels like to be where it feels like you are um, not in a place where you should be. And, you know, um, it seems like <laughs> um, God is not hearing. But I want to say to you tonight that God has sent me by to restore that fire that once burned. To let you know that he loves the time you spend with him and the presence and the things that you were praying to him for. He has not forgotten you. And he wants to rekindle that fire because... It seems like you're praying, but nothing is being answered. And God sent me by to let you know today that because he loves you, because he cares about you, he wants you to know that he wants to put a fresh anointing upon you, a fresh power upon you. See, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And what he does is he does his best to try to keep us from getting into prison. He does his best to try to keep us from praying. It is not easy to pray. The warfare is heightened and Satan is strategically setting up ambushes to stop God's people from praying and entering into the prayer chambers. But I want to encourage you on tonight to let you know not to give up and to let you know that your prayers are being heard. Don't feel like you're praying in vain and don't feel like you're just repeating and it feels like God is not hearing and it seems like seems like things seem to get worse when you begin to pray. I want to let you know today that the Lord sent me by to let you know that he's going to breathe a fresh, a fresh fire upon you. He's going to breathe a fresh wind upon you. He's going to strengthen you in every area of your life and bring an encouragement to you. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is going to anoint you today with an anointing for this new season, for this new season to stand, for this new season to know who you are, for this new season to be able to know your purpose, for this new season so that you will know by without a shadow of a doubt that God is able and he is still in the healing business. I'm telling you, God is doing some great and wonderful things. He is just pouring out his spirit. My God, he's not leaving us, not having us ignorant concerning the device of the enemy. So we're going to pray and we're going to believe God for what he's doing. We're going to pray and believe God that the same God that answers by fire is the same God that is going to move in our midst. I'm telling you, God is amazing. He is amazing. Truly an amazing God. Truly an awesome God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says Daniel prayed and it took 21 days for the angels to bring him the answer to let him know that from the first day God has heard his prayer. I want you to know from the first day God has heard your prayer from the very first day. And let me tell you something, whether we fight or not, we are in a spiritual warfare. I need you to know that we are in a spiritual warfare. The enemy is trying with everything in his power to discourage uh, and discredit God's people that cause us to falter and cause us to give up. But tonight, by the Spirit and the power of the Holy Ghost, I thank Him for restoration. I thank Him for fresh bread. I thank Him for breathing upon us. I thank Him tonight for showing Himself faithful. He is worthy to be praised. He is an awesome God. There's no one else like Him. Thank you, Jesus. We praise the name of the Lord. We give him all the glory and all the honor. I want you to pray with me on tonight. When I learn about the prayer points, listen to me. They changed my life forever. They truly changed my life forever. It, it my, my understanding of prayer became so different. The breakthrough that I saw became so different. I mean, everything was just such a blessing. When the Lord taught me about praying the word. And I want you tonight to know that you're not. Wipe your tears. Come on, wipe your tears. God has not forgotten you. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel and say this is it. Don't take your life. Don't be depressed. Don't be up crying at night. That's not his plan for you. His plan is to prosper you. To give you an expected end. He's able to do anything but fail. There is absolutely nothing that is impossible for him to do. The psalmist David said, I've been young and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. And I know you might be in a season where it seems like all hope is lost. But can I tell you that God is making you into another clay? Can I tell you that he's preparing you for the greatest harvest of your life? Can I tell you that he's preparing you to leave an indelible mark? He's preparing you as a voice in his generation. He's preparing you to use you in the earth realm. And it's never, it never feels good. But there's a price to pay for the anointing. There's a price to pay when you say I'm going to fall across. When you say I'm going to deny myself, pick up my cross and follow him. But I'm telling you, the Bible says the suffering that you see now will not be able to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed to you. Paul say, it is no longer I, but the Christ that lives on the inside of me. I want to encourage you today to let you know that you will overcome not only by the blood of the Lamb, but by the word of your testimony. You'll be able to help others through this situation. You'll be able to tell others of the goodness of God. You'll be able to let others know that God is truly who he say he is. He truly does what he say he will do. He is a, not a man that he should lie. He's not slack concerning his promise. That he is a covenant keeping God and he never breaks his promise. Listen, I don't know where you are tonight. I don't know what's going on tonight, but I just want you to know that God loves you so much. He cares about you so much. He needs, oh God, he needs you to know how much his love, oh God, even now he's wrapped
wrapping you in his arms and fathering you. This is not the time to throw in the towel. Think about all you've gone through. Think about the many tears, the many battles you've won because of Christ Jesus. Now you almost at the finish line. You almost at the season where the season when Helen getting into a new season. This is the season where God will make productivity of your life and use you for his glory. I know. But he said, cast your cares upon me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. But I want you to know, don't you dare give up. I know, I know, I know, but don't you give up. Hallelujah, glory to God. You shall not die, but you will live to declare the works of the Lord. So we're going to pray tonight for a fresh anointing. And I want you to pray with me for a fresh anointing. Hallelujah, glory to God. I believe God will pour upon you a fresh anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're just going to worship the Lord just for a few minutes. Just tell him, thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we glorify you. Oh, God, you are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing, God. You are amazing, God. You are an amazing God. We bless your name, God. We praise you, Jesus. You are an awesome God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being so wonderful. Thank you for being so kind. Thank you for showing yourself. Now, God, we repent of our sin and anything, God, that may interrupt or interfere with these prayers tonight, oh God. Bread of heaven, feed us. Tell me what no more, God. Feed us, oh God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for strengthening your people, oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for clothing them in their right mind, oh God. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to strengthen them, oh God. Thank you, Lord. We cry for mercy, Lord, for this land. We cry for mercy for our children. We cry for mercy for our cities. We cry for mercy for our churches, oh God. Have mercy, Lord. We thank you, Lord. For the fresh anointing. Hallelujah. You prayed and you told God. You say you can use me. You say God use me. I'm available. And because you told him you're available. He is going to use you. And I want to encourage you tonight. I want you to pray with me. I want you to pray with me on tonight. This is a special 911 tonight. <laughs> You shall not die. But live to declare the works of the Lord. We thank you for your presence, Lord. We thank you for your presence, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We praise your name, God. And we give you all the glory and all the honor. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our first prayer point, I want you to say this. The Bible says in Psalm 92 and 10. But my horn, you have exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. God has given us fresh oil tonight so we can stand against the opposition so we can overcome. Oh, fresh anointed to complete our assignment. Fresh anointed to keep going. Fresh anointed to pray. Fresh anointed to worship. Fresh anointed from heaven. We give you praise, oh God. 
And we give you glory and we give you honor, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Our first prayer, but I want you to say this fervently with me. Father God, I need fresh fire from above today in the name of Jesus. Father God, I need fresh fire. I need fresh fire today in the name of Jesus. Father God, I need fresh fire. I need fresh fire today in the name of Jesus. I need fresh fire. Fresh fire today. Fresh fire today in the name of Jesus. Come on. Let me get to say, Father, Lord, I need fresh fire. Yesterday, fire won't do. I need fresh fire today. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our second prayer. prayer. Oh, Lord, my Father, baptize me with the Holy Ghost afresh in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, baptize me afresh. Baptize me afresh with the Holy Ghost and fire, Lord. Baptize me afresh. I need a fresh anointing, a fresh and filling, oh God. Baptize me. Oh Lord, my Father, baptize me with a fresh oil. Breathe a fresh upon me, Holy Spirit. I need a fresh bread upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Pour out your spirit upon me like never before in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Pour your spirit like never before upon me in the name of Jesus. Pour your spirit, pour your spirit upon me like never before. Pour upon me your spirit like never before, Lord. Pour upon me your spirit like never before, Lord. Pour out your spirit upon me like never before. Here I am, Lord. Here's my cup. Fill it up, oh God. Pour out your spirit upon me like never before, God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, baptize and overshadow my being with your seven spirit in Jesus' name. Come on, I want you to pray with me. Baptize and overshadow me with my being, with your seven spirit in the name of Jesus, the spirit of wisdom, counsel, might. Come on. Baptize and overshadow my being with your seven spirits, oh God. Come on. Baptize and overshadow me, oh God, with your seven spirits in the name of Jesus. I ask them to baptize, oh God, and overshadow me with your seven spirits, oh God. I need your spirit, oh God. I need your power, Lord. We can't do this without you, Lord. Lord, Lord baptize and overshadow us with your spirit and power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, by the fresh outpouring of your spirit, I defeat I defeat every power of the flesh, fighting my smooth walk with you in the name of Jesus. I want to repeat that again for you today. By the fresh outpouring of your spirit, I defeat every power of the flesh, fighting my smooth walk with you in the name of Jesus. Come on today. By the fresh outpouring of the spirit, I defeat every power of the flesh, fighting against my smooth walk with you in the name of Jesus. Today, today, by the fresh power and anointing of power of the spirit, I defeat every power of the flesh, fighting against my smooth walk with you in the name of Jesus today by the fresh outpouring of your spirit I defeat every power of the flesh fight my smooth walk with you in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 holy ghost holy ghost holy ghost today release upon me every satanic interference and working against my life and destiny holy ghost today release your fire upon every satanic interference and working against my life and destiny. Holy Ghost, today release your fire upon every satanic interference and working against my life and destiny. Holy Ghost, today release your fire upon every satanic interference and working against my life and destiny. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you to repeat this prayer point with frequency because God God is hearing us this morning. Holy Ghost, purify me with your fire today in the name of Jesus. Come on, ask the Holy Ghost. To purify you with your fire. Holy Ghost, purify me. Purify me with your fire in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, purify me. Purify me with your fire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to do one more prayer point. 
fire of God fall upon me now. Swallow up whatever's in my life that is not of you in the name of Jesus. Fire of God fall upon me now. Swallow up whatever's in not in my life that is not of you in the name of Jesus. Fire of God fall upon me now. Swallow up whatever's in my life that is not of you in the name of Jesus. Fire of God fall upon me now. Swallow up whatever's in my life that is not of you in the name of Jesus. Fire of God fall upon me now. Swallow up whatever's in my life that is not about you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. May God continue to strengthen you. I want you to know that you are an overcomer. You are more than a conqueror. And God has heard your prayer. I want you to know that you will no longer feel subdued or overtaken because the Lord Jehovah has poured fresh anointing upon you on today. The power to go today will be the beginning of the best day of your life. You will conquer the sickness. You will conquer this poverty. You will conquer the things in your marriage. You will conquer the fight and struggle with your children. You will conquer not oh, losing your job. You will conquer, oh God, the repossession and anything of foreclosure is on your house. You will conquer because the Lord your God is able to do anything but fail. Put your trust in him and watch him do just what he say. God is faithful. Father, I thank you for every person that is listening and that will hear this broadcast. Lord, bless your people. Anoint them afresh from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord. Let them no longer feel alone, no more. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. But Father, let them know, God, that you are well able, oh God, and you are indeed a good Father. You are loving God, and you change not. Thank you, Lord for being so faithful. Thank you for showing yourself tonight. Now cover your people as we sleep, God. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for keeping them, oh God, from the plans, the plot, and the schemes of the enemy. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for healing. Thank you for salvation. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, God, and we give you glory. If you do not know the Lord as your personal Savior tonight, and you just happen to hear this, or you want to rededicate your life to the Lord, don't miss this moment. We don't know what, to, what tomorrow holds, but we have today. I want you to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I recognize that I'm a sinner in need of your grace. Come into my heart and be my Lord and personal Savior. Holy Spirit, teach me to follow Jesus from this day forth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you and may God keep you and may God strengthen you. Lie and rest in peace. Rest in peace tonight. Don't let nothing disturb you. Let nothing bother you. Because your God has given you the peace that surpasses all understanding. And nothing by no means will harm you. You shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. God bless you. <laughs>